There you are. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, Hi. Renee. So Renee, um, we've got this recording and we would love for you to just share a little bit of your story and then um, we have a surprise for you at the end. So um, as much as you'd like to share, as much or as little, and uh, we just love to hear from you and then um, we'll share what we've got for you, okay? Okay. Um, I'm a mom of I have four kids. I have a 13-year-old daughter, a 10-year-old son, Sorry, my little ones kind of. I have a 10 year old son, a seven year old son, and a three year old son. My 10 year old, he's ADHD um, and he's very high strung. My seven year old, he is ADD and has seizures. My three year old is wild and crazy like normal kids. Um, I've had five back surgeries. I just recently got diagnosed with lupus um, last month. Um, I was working full time up until this year, and then it got cut down to 10 to 15 hours with COVID because I'm I clean, and with all this stuff going on, my husband has been off since the end of May, beginning of June, and he's doing odd jobs. It's just it's very hard to find stuff right now, and a lot of people don't want you coming into their home and cleaning and doing construction and. I, my kids have been home nonstop since March. We didn't. We made the choice not to send them back in August. And um, my three-year-old, he has bad allergies, bad breathing, and we didn't want to take that chance. So all of my kids have been home doing e-learning and virtual learning, and it's really stressful. It's very stressful. But we're pushing through. It's crazy in my household right now. I'm surprised they're screaming and pulling hair out. <laughs> We went through that with just one kid having her home last year. And when we were faced with the choice of sending her back to school or keeping her home, there was no question. We were like, get her back to school. <laughs> I want to, me. I want to, I just, I can say Gunner. Gunner, what do you hope that Santa Claus brings this year? What do you want from Santa Claus? He wants tractor. What else do you want? <laughs> He wants a tractor and little motorcycles. Oh, uh, like the little, like the little Hot Wheels top, top things. He said one that fits in his hand because his daddy has a motorcycle and he likes motorcycles. Um, yeah. Well, um, Renee and Gunner, we know that you guys have had a tough year, and so we um, pulled the resources and we. Oh. And, um, the gift cards for you and for a hundred dollars for each of your kids so we have four hundred dollars for you and um that way you guys can get those like, and what everybody wants so we just wanted to share some of our blessings with you and we know that you're doing your very best and we I really appreciate it. Well, um, hey, baby. <laughs> you better be watching under that Christmas tree. <laughs> He's looking at it. <laughs> I really appreciate it. We're going to be mailing these out to you, and um, I more your address, right? Yes. So just watch the mail. We're going to mail these out to you today. All right, thank you so very, very much from all of you. <laughs> Have a Christmas. Uh, little motorcycles and who knows what. Mm. He'll be happy. Okay. Well, all Merry right. Christmas, Renee, and to all of your family. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. You're well, welcome. Merry yeah. Christmas. <laughs> That's so sweet. I think that that is the epitome of motherhood right now is <laughs> juggling our children, trying to still function like adults and take phone calls. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much. It's, it's, it's so endearing to know that there 
is still hope out there. And I'm so thankful to be doing this with you guys. Well, we're just so thankful that we were able to do this this year because we know Barry's crying over here, but we had a couple of tough Christmases ourselves. And at the time we were raising my nephew and I was pregnant with our daughter and it was really hard. And we realized that help is not as easy to get as, as you would think. So we're happy that we're able to pay it forward this year and help out some people because we know we know what it's like absolutely it's not as it's not easy to get help and then you know on top of this year being a pandemic like Renee said her hours are cut it, it's it's really hard this year and it's hard any year but this year it it's really hard so thank you guys so much for um, giving back hope for the holidays. I will um, be posting this on my YouTube channel. And where will you guys be posting? We're gonna post it on our Facebook page, our business Facebook page, and we'll post it on our YouTube channel too. Yeah. We're still getting right. you, but. <laughs> Yeah, and so anybody that is watching this before December 25th, if you would like to enter for Hope for the Holidays, you still have time. And Sarah, how can they do that? So they can enter from your YouTube channel, Holly. Um, you can enter um, from our artist support group. We've got a post there with a link. Which is the Facebook group, right? Yes, yes. Our, on Facebook, sorry. Yep. Facebook group counterculture DIY artist support. Yes. And then um, if you can't figure that out or just want to do it the old fashioned way, you can just email us at hope, H O P E at counterculture DIY.com. And you can just send us an email from the form that you can link to from Holly's YouTube or the artist support group. You can upload a video or a picture. You can do that in, um, an email format too, and then just type us a little bit of a note about why you need some extra help this holiday and a little extra hope. And we are just gonna help as many people as we can by the end of the year. And just to recap, there is no limit on this giveaway. If you need to fly a family member home, if you need to fly to a family member, if you would like to send uh, meals or some flowers to a loved one, or if you need help yourself, please reach out to us and to Counterculture. And thank you for providing hope for the holidays. Well, thank you, Holly, for participating with us. And um, stay tuned, everybody, because there'll be more videos like these to come.